guys, Jordy here from Premier Basics, and I am back from my Iceland vacation. Last week and the week before that, Timon took over because I was away, and I think that he did an amazing job. I just hope that he didn't do it too amazing. You guys are happy that I'm back, right? Anyways, are you going on vacation this summer? Let me know in the comments down below what your destination is. I'd love to hear. Today, I'm going to show you three fast and easy effects that you can do inside Adobe Premiere Pro. At times, it was a little crowded in Iceland, and I couldn't really see anything. Good thing I know how to make myself a giant and that is the first effect for today. First, make a shot with a tripod of a building and maybe someone who's running in front of that. Leave a good amount of headspace on that building because our giant is going to appear behind that building. Leave the camera at the exact spot and make another shot of your talent standing in front of the camera and you can use a ladder to stand on because we need this part of the talent's body above the building. Then drag and drop your videos inside your timeline and select the first shot. Head over to the opacity and click on the pen tool. Then draw a mask around the building. Do this as accurate as possible, especially at the place where the giant is going to appear. Drag your first clip above your other video and that's how easy it is to make yourself a giant. And the next effect, we're going to learn how to shoot with a gun. Or, or with your fingers, you, you can choose. Simply make a shot of someone acting like they're shooting with a gun and drag it into Premiere Pro. Now to make it look like a gunshot, we're gonna need something called a muzzle flash. And you can download them online, such as on Storyblocks, where you can find the muzzle flashes that actually we created here. Also, thanks to them for sponsoring this video. Now since it's only one frame long, you can also look for a picture. Now once you've found a muzzle flash, simply drag it above your video. Go to Opacity and change the blending mode to Screen or to Add. Then navigate to the exact spot where the gun fires off and drag the muzzle flash to that frame. Reposition it using the scale, position, and rotation controls. And that's pretty much it. That looks really cool already, but we can make it look even better. We're gonna make the walls and the talent's body light up for just one frame. Move your muzzle flash one step up and add a cut at the spot where your gun is supposed to fire. Then duplicate your video between those two clips. Trim it until it's only one frame long. You can do that by placing your play hat on the first frame, then moving one frame to the right, and then trim your clip to the left until it snaps to your play hat. All right, next find the Lumetri effect and drag it to your clip. Then head over to your effects controls and select the pen tool. We're going to create a mask around the talent's face, on his jacket, his hands, and of course on the wall. Now see the muzzle flash as a light source and think where that light should appear or bounce on. When that is done, go to the window drop down menu and click Lumetri color. Now go to your temperature slider and increase the orange just a little bit. After that, also increase the exposure because the talent and the environment is exposed to more light when the gun fires. Now go back to your effects controls and increase the mask feather. This way you spread out the lights coming out of the gun. And there you go, you're firing a gun or anything else because you could just drag that muzzle flash to anything you like. Apart from muzzle flashes, you can also find tons of different overlay effects on story blocks, such as sparks, something that we used in the lightsaber effect from our last video, or things like smoke, lens flares, TV effects, and so much more. In their ever-growing community-driven library, you can find more than a million high-quality royalty-free stock assets, and that all in HD or 4K resolutions. You can look for tons of visual effects, animated backgrounds, motion graphics, and so much more. Browsing on story blocks, whether it's for commercial or personal purposes is something that I believe every creator needs to have to step up their video quality. They also have various Premiere Pro and After Effects templates, which you can use to save a ton of time and create stunning visuals. Their collections offer multiple stock clips of the same theme or genre. For example, if you need drone footage, you can browse to tons of different collections. They contain different videos at the same location, which is really useful for if you need multiple angles of a certain subject or topic. You can browse through epic music and awesome sound effects. There's even an entire images, photos, and vectors library, which really helps me to step up my creative work. You can download an unlimited amount of assets with the unlimited all access plan, or you can check out the other affordable plans because there is one for everyone's needs. And to learn more about Storyblocks, simply click the first link in the description down below or go straight to storyblocks.com forward slash Premier Basics. And now it's time to make ourselves invisible. Let's go. Make an empty shot and done. 
Nah, I'm joking. You want to make a shot of your talent walking around. And then, of course, don't forget to make an empty shot. You also want to shoot this from a tripod so that both the shots are the same. Drag both your clips in the timeline and drag the empty shot underneath your talent. Then select both the clips and add a cut at the moment that you want your talent to become invisible. Now set the blending mode of the first clip to different so that the background turns black. But now the background is gone. So to fix that, simply select both your clips, right click and select nest. Give it a name and hit enter. Then move it up one step and make your empty shot longer by trimming it to the right until it snaps to your nested sequence. Next, select your nested sequence and set the blend mode to screen and there you go. If you want to make it look even better, you can simply find the turbulent displace effect and drag it onto your nested sequence. Go to the displacement settings and choose bulge from the drop down menu. And now T-Mon is looking a little bit weird, so let's decrease the amount. The transition between the two clips is a little bit harsh, but we can fix that by simply automating the amount. Move a few frames to the right and click the stopwatch icon. Then go back to the first frame and set the amount to zero. And now automate the evolution from zero to around 50 to create some more movement into the effects. And to finish it off, we're going to add a small color grade. Head over to the Lumetri panel and click on the curve section. Now decrease the highlights until it doesn't look that harsh anymore. That looks great. And now you can make yourself invisible. Shoot a gun or hide from behind the building. All right, guys, leave a like if you learned something new today. That also helps to spread the video in the YouTube algorithm. And that way you're supporting the channel. So thank you so much for doing that. And let me know in the comments down below if you're going to try out one of these effects as well. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Storyblocks, for your support. And as always, stay creative. Now, here on my left, I got another video. So you want to like... So you might want to check that one out as well. And down there is the subscribe button, which allows you to see me every single week. Unless I'm on vacation, then you're seeing Timon again. So, uh, yeah, there's that. Take care, guys, and uh, bye.